Today, we're talking about how to teach our dogs proper greeting manners. This is such an important thing for every dog to know that I can't believe we haven't talked about it sooner. The tips and techniques that I'm about to show you will be effective for any dog of any breed at any age of their life. What you will need to teach this is patience and a commitment to follow the proper procedure without exceptions. And the sooner and more consistently you can do these two things, the quicker the dog will learn this essential skill. What happens in many cases when we have visitors over is that our dogs get excited and physiologically aroused. In an uncontrolled frenzy to meet the newcomer, the dog may bark at or jump on them. And in my experience, this often paints an inaccurate picture of what your dog is really like most of the time. We must first realize that this behavior is perfectly normal. And the reason it happens is because the dog has either been never taught the appropriate alternative behavior, or they have previously been rewarded for acting in that way. By allowing the dog to approach the visitor when they are so highly aroused, we are actually communicating to the dog that it is acceptable to act that way. As you probably know, the key to teaching a dog to do anything is to set them up to be successful and to remove the possibility of failure. To do this in this situation, we are going to need a playpen. These are available at most pet stores and online sellers like Amazon. They can easily be adjusted to fit your living space and don't take up too much space in storage and are, in my opinion, the most important training tool that most dog owners can benefit from by investing in. One effective way to train your dog to be calm when visitors come over is to enlist the help of friends and set up realistic situations to practice in. Once you have securely confined the dog within the playpen, it is time to start the simulation. Here is a demonstration of how your dog might act before they have been taught to be calm in this arousing scenario. As you open the door to greet your guest, explain to them that you could really use their help in training and all they need to do is ignore the dog so that they don't accidentally reward the behavior that we are trying to extinguish. Paying any attention to the dog during this time, such as looking at, talking to, or petting, should not be done at this time. You, as the puppy parent, should also resist the urge to tell your dog to be quiet or calm down because it will most likely get interpreted incorrectly and we want the dog to calm down out of their own choosing, without any cues from us. After some time has passed, the dog will become noticeably less aroused, and when this happens, you can click and reward them. So I want to take opportune moments when she's quiet. Oh, look at that. Good girl. Ideally, when she sits. But I'm not going to cue her or tell her to do anything. Any of you staying quiet? If you don't have a clicker, you may mark the behavior using a chosen marker word and this will be just as effective. Once the dog appears to be in a much more relaxed state, Invite the guests to calmly introduce themselves and eventually pet the dog.
I just wanted to do that. <laughs> if this is too overwhelming and the dog fails, it is best to go back to ignoring the dog and giving them more time to relax before making another attempt at a calm introduction. You will notice that if you do this with reliable consistency, over time it will get a lot easier for your dog to greet people calmly and eventually you will no longer need a playpen. And this is because the association between meeting people and hyperarousal will loosen until it disappears completely. <laughs>